So here we have a common milkweed patch, and you can see it's a nice big one. And it's also humming with activity. I don't know how many of these things you can make out, but there's bumblebees making use of the plants. There's butterflies, like you can see with this tiger swallowtail. There's honeybees, all sorts of stuff. Because milkweeds produce, produce a ton of nectar. They have these nectaries, which are really deep. It smells great. And this is just in the day. At night, they're also visited by all sorts of different kinds of pollinators. But there is another more uh, devious side to the milkweeds, and that is that the way that they're set up are for big creatures like uh, bumblebees and those butterflies to be the pollinators. But when a little thing like a honeybee lands, he's got to be careful because milkweeds set up all of their um, pollen in what are called pollinia, little saddlebags. And they're built so that um, an, an animal comes in, and if it's big enough, it will actually then uh, pull the pollen sack out and, wa and land on the next plant and so forth and so on. The problem is that things as small as honeybees oftentimes aren't that big. So if they step in the wrong spot, their leg gets stuck in the pollinia, and they may not be strong enough to pull it out. And if they're not strong enough to pull it out, they either lose a leg or lose their life, or at least lose a ton of time. But it's big things like this carpenter bee and so forth, which are really the pollinators.